<clears throat> hey there guys, Chili Beatman here, back again with another hot sauce video. Today we're trying two new mahi sauces. Uh, first one is the mahi tamarind and mango. Now these sauces are only little mellow ones. They're not going to blow my socks off. But, you know, the, <clears throat> the only two mahi sauces that I've got that I haven't tried, so we're going to go for it. Uh, tamarind and mango. Cayenne pepper, tamarind, mango, lime, and mint sauce. Very intriguing. Definitely smell the mint in there. And the tamarind a little bit. Oh, so it's something very sweet. Oh, wow. Very sweet from the, from the lime, a little bit of mango. Nice little kick from the mint. Mm. Really good. Wow. I wasn't expecting a lot from that, to be fair, but that is really nice. Mm. You can really taste the mint in there. Mm. Can't even get the chicken off. Oh, yeah. It's definitely. If you like sort of citrusy, minty flavours, that's definitely the way to go. I mean, it's only a two pepper on their hot scale. But again, like I said, it's one of the milder sauces. It's actually really tasty. Right, on to the second one. Another mahi sauce again. We are going cayenne and cranberry. Now, I'm not much of a fruity kind of guy. Uh, cayenne pepper, cranberry, lemon and garlic. So that's quite interesting. I do like the garlic. Definitely smell sweet, sweetness from the cranberry and lemon in there. Let's try that. Okay. Yep. Very sweet. Again, nothing overpowering. A little bit of lemon coming through there. Mmm. A little tiny flavour of roasted garlic in the background. Again, a really very enjoyable sauce. Nothing there spice wise. But the flavour is undeniable. It's amazing what sort of flavour you can get from a hot sauce. I mean, most people expect, oh, it's a hot sauce, it's going to be spicy, it's going to burn my head off. Then um, it's not true. Yes, there are sauces out there that will blow your top. I've got a sauce coming. I'll do a video in the next couple of days. Uh, Karma sauce, burn after eating. Works out 669,000 Scoville heat units, which is just under five times hotter than the bomb, which is the hottest one I've tried so far. <coughs> Excuse me. And these, and um, but then you get sauces that have a bit of kick to it, but also have some really nice flavour. Yeah, Bravado Company Ghost Pepper Blueberry. Nice sweetness from the blueberries in there. It's got a little bit of a tingle in the back as well from the spice again but one of my favorite sauces is the heartbeat hot sauce red habanero a little bit of a kick in there at the back but garlic bell peppers a little bit of spiciness from the habanero it's absolutely fantastic sauce definitely definitely one of my favorites but these two sauces again mahi sauce the sauce lineup are incredible uh, that's a6 i've got now the uh, tamarind and mango Cane and cranberry, I've got the hot peri peri, um, the green savina, the boot jalokia, and the scorpion pepper passion fruit. Um, the peri peri hot is definitely one of my favourites. I do eat that one quite often. Mix with some rice and chicken, you know, on, on eggs in the morning. Absolutely gorgeous. But that's enough for me today. There will be another video in the next couple of days. Like I said, I will be trying the karma sauce burn after eating. 
Um, not looking forward to it if I'm being totally honest. I do have some other sources coming, one of them being the Torchbearer Zombie Apocalypse. Uh, 100,000 scale heat units, it's less than the bomb. So I'm pretty excited to try that, see what sort of flavours it's got. Um, I do have another source coming as well, which is a Hot Heads Trinidad Scorpion tr uh, cheer, 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 chili sauce. Um, I couldn't find much about the Scoville heat units on this one, but from what I have read online, it's anywhere between eight, apparently anywhere between 800,000 and 2 million Scoville heat units, so I'm definitely not looking forward to that one. Anyway, Chili Beard Man, I have been, you have been watching me. Ciao.